Hello, this is Nate Moore, and we're to Excel video 74 today. We're going to start again where we left off on this collections chart. And today what I want to do is I want to work just with this title here of collections. If I go chart tools and layout, this chart title gives me a couple of options. Obviously, I can take that chart title away. The center overlay puts it on top of the chart like this or above the chart is where we started right there and we lost the word collections so we'll put it back. So now we have collections. Now there's a bunch of ways we can customize a chart title besides just the location. There's two ways to get to the menu as in so many things in Excel. There's a couple different ways to get there. More title options will give you this format chart title screen. Before we play with that I want to show you that if you write if you've got collections highlighted that chart title there and right click you're going to get format chart title here's the same screen we played with gradient fill last time let me just show you briefly solid fill is simply that it's a color now let's do a dark one so you can see it better and if we click OK we can easily change the background color of collections to do that but what I want to show you is let's do it from chart title this time if we go to more title options I want to show you what this picture or texture fill thing does. When we do that, these you can insert a picture from a file or from clip art or, or if you've got something on the clipboard, you can do it. Let me show you what a texture does. These are textures that are included in Excel. And if well, let's pick this purple one because it's, it's pretty obvious. And um, let's start with that. So now you can see that purple kind of textured background is there with collections and if we come back here and do more title options what these things do you can offset you um, and here's the parameters which simply means you can slide your picture up and down or over and back if there's a certain part of the the picture that you want to show in the background and you can scale it that way too where you're just doing the pictures that's not a big deal and, and you could also change the alignment but again my texture that I'm getting off of here let's pick this one now is just consistent throughout so I don't need to move my picture up or down left or right or align it or something like that the other thing you can do let's do close and I'll show you what transparency looks like so there's collections now if I come over here more title and if we make it something like this let's see if it will see how it's it, you can't even see it here but you can gradually make it darker and darker and darker so you have a little bit of control here over how dark or how transparent that fill is for the background of chart titles there's a bunch of other things you can do uh, in terms of border color in terms of border styles shadow 3d format and alignment things like that but these are similar options to what we can do with um, other things in the chart like this axis titles we'll come back and look at axis titles next time and I'll show you some of the other things that we can do to kind of customize and professionalize and make that chart look even a little better hope that was helpful for you thanks for watching